Hi guys, um, I'm back here with another video. So after I posted my video, my last video, um, my sister called me like an hour and a half later. She's like, oh my god, I just watched your video, you're so funny, blah, 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 blah. And she came up with, she wants me to do a QA. and a So the both of us came up with a list of 30 questions. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be answering these 30 questions that my, me and my sister made up. And, like, the first couple of them are, like, stupid. Like, what's your name? What's your age? Blah, 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 blah. Like, bruh. No one cares about that shit. And I told her about that, but, like, she's like, oh, my God, it'll be fine. <clears throat> and, and, by the way, some of these questions are about her. And a little background information about her. Um, she's 23. Uh, she's been in the Dominican Republic for since July. Uh, she has two kids. Um, she's engaged. Yeah, that's all you get to know. I'm gonna be doing a video with her when she comes back. Hopefully, she'll be back soon. Okay. Here's my wonderful list of questions. Um, what's your name? My name is Jacelyn, but I go by Rose. What's your age? I am 14 as of July 22nd. Uh, where do you live, city and state? I live in Park City, Utah. When I'm with my mom and then when I'm with my dad, I live in Kearns, Utah. Uh, my favorite color? I actually have a few. I like black, yellow, teal, rose gold. A whole bunch of freaking colors, bro. Um, what do I like to do on my free time? I watch TV, listen to music, write my diary, read a book sometimes. You know, normal stuff. Um, my parents' names and ages. So my mom is um, Jennifer, and she just turned 42 a couple days ago, actually. Um, my dad is Jason. And he's 44. And then my stepmom is Gina. And she's also 42. Um, siblings and how old they are. I have a lot of siblings. Let's start off with the oldest. So the oldest is Deshaun. I've never met him. He lives in Arizona. Me and him have the same dad but different moms. And he is 24. He's a couple months older than Miranda. Then we have Miranda, who's 24. Me and her have the same mom and different dads. Then we have Shane, who's 21. And he's uh, my stepbrother. Then we have Dacian, who's also my stepbrother. And he just turned 18 or 19 in November. I don't remember. And then we have my stepsister, Cadence. Uh, she's 17. Then we have me. I'm 14. Then we have my sister, Kira. She is my sister's sister. But I count my sister's siblings as my siblings. And she counts my siblings as her siblings. Even though, like, I'm not really blood related or law related. But we're all family. And then we have my brother, Daniel who is named after my sister's dad. And then we have my little brother, Justice, and we have the same dad in different moms. Um, so I'm 14. Kira, I think she's like nine. Daniel just turned seven a few months ago. And Justice... <coughs> Excuse me. Justice will be two in March. Um, so, how many nieces and nephews? I only have one niece and one nephew, and they are both from Miranda. Um, my niece is the oldest one. Um, her name is Alexia, and she will be... She'll be six next month. 
And then Carlos, he'll be three in February. Um, my favorite food. I have a lot of favorite foods. Um, pizza, fettuccine alfredo, um, chicken wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, preferably boneless barbecue chicken wings. <laughs> They're really good. Um, do you have any pets? I have four pets. So at my aunt's house, I have a little dog and um, she's a mix of like a chihuahua and something else. We're not really sure. Her name is Lenny and my aunt has had her for five years. And then um, at my stepmom's and my dad's house, we have three dogs. We have Brownie, who's a girl. Um, I don't really know what kind of dog she is, like what the what breed she is. And then we have Sadie, who's also a girl. Again, don't know what breed she is. And then we have Sammy, the only boy. And um, I don't really know what kind of dog he is. I don't know what kind of dogs any of them are. But yeah. Um, my favorite snack goldfish and pirate's booty. I actually have a bag of goldfish that I'm staring at right now. I see. Um, how my year was. 2020 was a piece of shit. Let me. Ooh, don't. Okay, yeah, do get me started. January. I uh, switched schools. I had to, because my school in Park City found out that I lived in Heber, so I had to go to the Heber school because, you know, I lived in Heber. Uh, February. Uh, nothing really happened. Valentine's Day dance at my school. It was like during school. Um, it was just like, just hung out with a bunch of my friends and like danced around and you know stuff. Um, um March. Um I got my phone taken away and I didn't get it back until uh July. No, I got it back in June. Then I had to get a new one because it wasn't working. Um, I also got my Snapchat taken away for four months. And I didn't get that back until July. Um, April. Nothing really happened. My grandma's birthday. My aunt's birthday. Easter. My grandma's birthday is like right by Easter. And somehow it like falls on Easter like every year. Like, last year it was on Easter. This year it was on Easter. I think the year before that it was on Easter, too. May. Uh, May 4th was one year since my grandpa died. So, yeah, that kind of sucked. Um, June, nothing really happened. Father's Day, I was at my grandma's the day before. No, I was at my grandma's, yeah, the day before, because I came from Colorado from my grandpa's, and, um, then the next day my aunt drove me to, like, um, Spanish Fork or Provo, and we went, we met, um, my stepmom and my cousin there. And, like, my dad had no idea I was coming, so it was, like, pretty cool. And then we went to Idaho and saw these waterfalls, and they were, like, pretty lit. And then I, like, pulled my shirt up. I had this blue shirt on, this blue t-shirt, and I pulled it up like this into, like, a belly shirt because it was fucking hot as hell. And then um, my dad yelled at me. He was like, pull your shirt down. That was funny. Um... July. Um, July was okay. We went camping for 4th of July with my dad and a bunch of them. 
Um, my stepbrother Shane, his birthday is July 6th, which is also the same day that Miranda left. She has been in the Dominican Republic since July 6th. So, almost, almost six months. Oh my god, that's crazy. Um, then my birthday, a few friends' birthday. My birthday was, like, strange. It was, like, so weird and, like, boring and, eh. Um, August. Started back at my school in Park City. Um, yeah. It's like, oh. I totally forgot about freaking March. March 13th was a Friday. That was my last day of in school. And then we started online school and it was hell. I hated it. But oddly, I want to be in online school right now. And that'd be hard because I'm a freshman in high school, you know, high school prep, I have to deal with now. Um, anyway, March, August, September, nothing really happened. Kind of boring. Oh, um, like, stuff happened, but, like, I can't really talk about it, you know, because, you know, my mental health crap, my mom doesn't want the internet to know. <laughs> Um, September, October, had my cousin's birthday, my grandpa's birthday, my dad and my uncle's, wait, hold, hold up, hold up, go back, go back, rewind, back to August, before school started, I went on a road trip with my stepmom, my dad, my cousin, my stepbrother, Dacian, Cadence, and um, justice. My step brother Shane didn't go because he didn't want to, and Miranda wasn't there to go with us. We went from Utah to New Mexico to Texas to Oklahoma, where we met and we stayed in Oklahoma for like a week. I think I don't freaking remember a few days. Whatever, that's not the point point is we went there and I met my grandpa on my dad's side freaked me the fuck out because he reminds me of my grandpa on my mom's side who died like a little over a year ago when I had met him and it like freaked me out like the way he talked all his stupid stupid jokes you know everything he said like it freaked me out I was like, you are like the black version of my freaking grandpa. I didn't call him grandpa. I called him by his name. And I didn't really talk to him that much. And then I also met my Aunt Shamise, who's my dad's sister. And my two cousins. There's John and Annika. Yeah, they would not stop jumping on me. And it was like kind of annoying. But it's fine. I love them. They're literally the best. And then, um, October. I was like, okay, so it was my cousin's birthday, my grandpa's birthday, my dad's birthday. Um, I got with this girl named Roxy. And then a couple of days later, she came over, like, to my house for, like, a sleepover because why not? And then, um, we, like, she was my first kiss, and we, like, made out and stuff. That was pretty lit. Um, yeah. And then the next day when she left, my mom was like, is she your friend or your girlfriend? I'm like, kind of both. And she's like, okay. And then walked away. Um, October, November. Nothing really happened, um. I think it was like the, yep, it was the five year, no, it's, it was the five or six year anniversary of my uncle dying, like November 11th, I think it was. Um, yeah. The 
December. So far, it's been, like, really freaking boring, bro. Like, Christmas was wacky as shit. That crap, that shit was weird. Like, you know how, like, last year, like, everyone got a bunch of presents? This year, I barely got anything. Like, not that I'm not grateful for it, but, like, I'm, like, I understand, like, our parents and crap are, like, struggling because of fucking corona, like, losing their jobs and crap. And just, like, this year in general. But, like, I don't know. It was just fucking wacky. Like, my sister wasn't there. My mom surprised us by showing up on Christmas Day. Like, she wasn't planning on coming. She just, like, came. Um, then the next day I went home. Today is actually December 28th. Yeah, today's the 20th. Today is Monday. Okay. That was my 2020. Pretty shitty. Oh, also, um, November. Lost a few of my friends. Pretty shitty. But, um, you know, life goes on. And they're going to realize one day that they need me in their life. And I won't have room for them, bro. I won't need those hoes. Fuck them. Fuck them. Um, my 2021 goals. Bro. Hopefully I don't fucking die. That's that's my 2021 20, goal is to be less suicidal. <laughs> um, yeah. That's pretty, like, dark and deep and, like, trigger warning, whatever. But, like, yeah. And, okay, so I have two 21 goals. Not to die. And to be in, like, a relationship. Like, a good relationship. A long-lasting relationship. Because all my relationships lately, like, all of my relationships from this year lasted maximum one month. Like, there's this relationship I just had, like, a month ago. No, it was a couple weeks ago. Literally one day. Not even 24 hours. Not even 24 hours. It's fine. It's okay. Um, my favorite movie and my favorite TV show. My favorite movie is the Selena movie. Um, it stars uh, J-Lo. She plays Selena. Selena, Quincy Mila, you know. The Mexican Selena, not Selena Gomez, no. Although I love Selena Gomez, but that's not who we're talking about right now. Wait, where's Selena? Here, I will show you my Selena jacket. You know, Selena, this girl, y'all know who she is? Anyway, so there's this movie about her, and that's my favorite movie. My favorite TV show. I have a few, but you all know that I've been obsessed with Grey's Anatomy since I was eight years old. Still am. And yeah, I love Grey's Anatomy. But I also love The Vampire Diaries. If you haven't watched that, go fucking watch it right now. It's it's so cool. Um, Then there's Riverdale. Season 5 coming out January 20th. So happy about that, bro. So happy about that. Um, it's gonna be lit. I've seen the trailer. It's gonna be lit. Um, okay. Next question. What I think about Miranda living in the DR. Honestly, at first, when she left, I was like, yeah, go. I don't fucking care. But, like, after a few months, I'm like, oh, I miss her, blah, 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 blah. And, like, she, like, FaceTimes me, like, a lot. And now I'm like, just fucking come home, bro. I fucking miss you, bitch. And I know you're watching this right now. Come home. I miss you. I'm sure your kids miss you, too. We all miss you, even though you're a pain in our asses. 
Um, oh god. <sighs> the next one. You see this flag right here? It's the bisexual flag, if you didn't know that. How I found out I was bisexual. So, um, if you don't know what bisexual is, it means that you like both men and women. Like, romantically, sexually, whatever. Um, so basically how I found out is, you know, I've dated more guys than I have girls. Anyway, that's not the point. I've dated guys basically my whole life. Still have my virginity, okay? But that's something we will talk about later. Um, so then, like, I started, like, I don't know, I, like, in seventh grade is when I found out. I, so my best friend my ex best friend but she was my best friend at the time her name is ariana i did everything with her i hung out with her all the time outside of school sometimes inside of school most of the time i ate lunch with her i had band with her she knows every single thing there is to know about me like there's so much we've been through ups and downs high and low we always get through it but you know, she's one of the friends I lost. Anyway, um, how I found out is I, like, started liking her, than, like, more than a friend. And then we started dating for two weeks. And then when I was in eighth grade, I dated this sixth grader. She's a bitch. She's my, fr my friend Addie. She is Addie's sister. I love Addie with my entire heart. Love her to death. Um, but her sister, she's a fucking bitch. And I hate her. Um, okay. Yeah. There you go. That's how I found out. I liked my friend more than a friend. Uh, who my favorite person is. And my sister Miranda wants me to say her, but she knows she's one of my favorite people, but she is not my absolute favorite person. My app. My absolute favorite person in the whole wide world is my cousin, Mickey. Sorry to, like, burst your bubble, but it's Vicky. You know, Vicky is 21. And no, she's 22. She turned 22 in November. She's told me through a lot since I've only known her for a little bit over a year. But, um, she's helped me through a lot, like, she's helped with my depression, she's helped me, like, get over, you know, stewie people that have broken up with me. Um, she's, like, hilarious. We watched 90 Day Fiance. We make fun of M Miranda. <laughs> um, you know, but she's, like, my rock. I can tell her literally anything and she wouldn't judge me. Um, I love her. Like, with my entire heart. My heart belongs to her. Like, she's a queen. Love her. She is so beautiful, too. Um. Who my best friends are and their names. Bitch. I don't have any best friends. They all ditched me. But, um. I will say. I don't even know why I'm tired. Like, it's literally 5.39. Anyway, not the point. I'm going to say my best friend is my sister. Love her. Miranda, love her. My other sister, Cadence, love her too. She's also one of my best friends. Um, Vicky's my best friend. Jean is my best friend. Shane's my best friend. Dude, my best friends are my family. Like, there's no other way to put it. It's just my family. Because that's all I got and that's all I need right now. Um, next question. How I felt about becoming an aunt at eight years old. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I was eight years old my, when my sister had her daughter. That was five years ago. Almost six years ago. Um, I think I liked it at the time. 
because, you know, I liked kids, you know, but, like, and she's so cute. I love Alexia. She's literally so cute. But now, I'm like, I, like, never see her, but, like, when she was a baby, I used to see her all the time. But I haven't seen her for a while. Um... Number 20, am I in a relationship and how many people have I dated? Um, am I in a relationship? That is like kind of complicated. Like I'm like talking to like one of my exes, talked about her earlier. If you don't remember her name, sucks to be you. Um, so I'm like kind of talking to her again. I don't know if we're like dating or not. I don't know. It's. It's confusing. It's complicated. Like, we say, we say we love each other. Like, we say I love you, like, every day. We call each other baby again. Like, I don't know. It's just confusing. Um, how many people I have I dated? I, y'all are gonna think I'm a hoe for this, but I've dated, like, 16 people. But I started dating when I was in preschool. No, I didn't even go to preschool. Kindergarten. My first boyfriend, his name was Aaron. And he was like a year or two older than me. And we would, at like nap time, we would go under my blanket and make out. I remember that, but, you know, that doesn't count as a first kiss, you know, because I don't know how to kiss people. <laughs> Although I do now because, you know, I had my first kiss in October, um, so yeah, I've dated 18 people, no, 18, no, i dated 16 people, um, most of them are guys, I've only dated, like, I've dated five girls, but the rest of them were guys. No, I dated six girls. Um, who I live with. So at my mom's house, it's just me and my mom. But her boyfriend comes over a lot and like spends the night and stuff. And then at my dad's house, it is my dad, my stepmom, me, Caden, Stacy, and Shane, Justice, and Vicky, and my sister when she comes back. Or before she moved, before she left. And then, um, ooh, do I like my sister's fiance? To be honest, not really. Like, the things she tells us about him, like, the way he treats her, makes me want to, like, mm -mm, you don't get to treat my sister like that, only I do. And even I don't do that shit. Like, that's fucking messed up. Um, so no, I don't like him. Sorry about it. Um, how I feel about Miranda marrying someone from the Dominican Republic. Bitch, I don't give a shit who you'd marry. Just as long as they're nice. And speak English. Like, I know he tries, but damn. Um, how I feel about my sister having more kids. <sighs> you know what happens to you medically when you have, when you're pregnant. But like, having more kids, I don't, I don't care, bro. Do what you want. Your life, not mine. I can't tell you yes, no. Although, kids are annoying and I don't like them. Sorry. Um, who I talk to about, who I talk to about my depression. I am supposed to have a therapist, but, like, I don't, don't know what's going on with that. See how big the sweater is? Sorry, I get easily distracted. Anyway, I talk to my stepmom and my cousin about it, mostly. And, you know, I used to talk to my friends about it, but they ditched me. They were like, peace out. Um, 
who is my favorite parent? If my mom or my dad ever sees this, I'm sorry. My mom's been in my life my whole entire life. Love her for that. She never left. My dad, however, has been in my life when I was a baby and has been in my life for the past, like, year. No. The past two years. Off and on. And, um... I know this is shitty to say because I have I barely known her like a year and a half, but my stepmom is my favorite parent. Sorry to say it, but it's fucking true. Um, have I lost my virginity yet? And to who? Like I said earlier, no, I have not lost my virginity yet. I am a child. No, I'm not. I'm not a child, but you get what I mean. I have attempted to, but I chickened out because I wasn't ready as, like, I convinced myself I was. So, yeah. Um, my favorite fast food place. I have a few. McDonald's, Wendy's, Five Guys. Um, yeah. Uh, Domino's, Little Caesars. Um, my favorite makeup product that I own, as of right now, it is my James Charles palette, and I have the mini version. I just got the Makita palette, as you saw in my last video, but I haven't used it yet, so I will update you on that. Um, okay, very last question. What am I going to do in the last week of 2020? So, like I said, today is Monday, December 28th, 2020. There is only three more days left of 2020. I was supposed to make this video, like, yesterday, but I didn't want to. Um, so today, I went to this car auto repair place with my mom, and, um, then we went to Smith's, no, then we went to TJ Maxx, got some stuff there, I'll make a video about that. We Then we went to Smith's, then we went to eat at Wendy's, and then we went to the UPS store to return something, then we went home, and she's been at work ever since. Um, so I didn't really do anything today. Tomorrow... 